What we're going to do in this video is show you how you can get files off of your computer um, onto a flash drive like this USB Samsung flash drive here and uh, onto an, what I use as an iPhone. It should work for an Android as well. But uh, since the flash drive plugs into a USB port, you'll need a USB uh, to lightning adapter for the older iPhones like I have. If you've got a newer iPhone, you'll need a USB-C to USB adapter. Since I have an OtterBox case on my iPhones, that adapter would not fit through the OtterBox. So I got a, a, in my case, a lightning extender so to make that work so um it works real well it's easy to do and we're going to do the opposite too i uh, see so how you can take a video uh, or photo from your iphone and put it on the flash drive and you go the opposite way transfer that to your computer this is my photos file on my imac and i'm just going to show you a video on here that we're going to put on the flash drive. This is just uh, looking at a pond that I had just clean, cleaned out and repaired it, and then the Hurricane Helene came through, immediately filled it up with water. This is the tree that Hurricane Helene blew down on our fence. I'm not sure, I think it might be a beech tree. So that's this video clip is what I'm going to put on a flash drive and show you how to do that, it, it should work pretty easy. Okay, what I'm going to do first is put my, uh, put this flash drive in one of my USB ports. Just push that in. Okay. Now, since this is an Apple iMac with iOS stuff, um, what I'm going to do is go to my Finder. There it is. If you look closely, see that Samsung USB? Didn't have a name. I can click on that. That's that USB drive. Now, if I right click, I can rename it. So I'm going to rename it just test. Just click somewhere, and there it is. Now, the name of that drive is test. Okay, this is the test drive right here. Okay, this this is the video clip I'm going to put on it. So I just click on that, just drag it over onto that drive. Okay, that video file is appearing on that flash drive. Here we are. See, we're down here on the, what we named test. Over here, this is the file. It's not completely copied over yet. We'll give it a little bit. This now is on that flash drive. So what I need to do is eject the flash drive Click on that little thing. That says it can't do it because QuickTime's using it. Okay. Let's quick QuickTime. Okay, I quit QuickTime. Now, what we'll do is now we'll eject that flash drive. There it goes. Took a little bit. Um, okay, now we're going to pull the flash drive out off the back. Let me get it out. Okay, this is my iPhone 12 Pro Max I use for taking most of my videos. And uh, I'm actually videoing my phone with my wife's iPhone 12 Pro. But this is my home screen when I first turned it on. If I scroll over here, I can find my files folder, tap on that. Now, it's already on Browse. If it was on something else, like here or here, what you want to do is go to Browse and look for that flash drive. Obviously, it's not going to be there because it's here. It's not plugged into the camera. 
So how do we get an end to the camera? Let me show you. This is my lightning, that being lightning, to USB adapter. Got it off Amazon, I'll put a link in the description. And I'll show you one of the problems to run into. I've got an otter, well, don't need Siri. Anyway, I've got an otter box on here and that will not fit in there because otter box. I really don't want to take it out of the otter box case. So what I did, this is a lightning extender. It's got a male lightning here and female there and a much narrower or smaller uh, <clears throat> stem on it. So we should be able to plug that in here. Okay, that's in. Let me turn the camera on. Okay, now I can take my USB to lightning adapter and plug into that. Okay, it's in there. Now I should be able to take my USB drive and plug into that USB adapter. Should go in like this. I'm on the porch, that's the reason for the bird sounds. Got traffic sounds too, but. It's gonna be a little hard to get in there. Let me pull this back out. Make sure I've got it in here. I think that's the way it goes. Okay, that should be in there now. Now let me put this in to the extender. Interesting. I could not find the flash drive until I turned the lightning adapter upside down. So, and then it worked. Okay, now we got that in there. See, see this test? That's what we named that flash drive. So if we tap on that, there's that video. And you can watch it on the phone. We've had this pond since we bought the property in 2005. Once you got the adapter, no how long it's they been put together here, property. This property, this house was originally built. So that's how easy it is to put something on a flash drive and connect it to your phone so you can view your videos or whatever it is in that flash drive that you want to watch. Okay, I'm trying to show you this phone on the porch because we've got noises in the house. We got power trucks going down the road. I'm not going to complain about them because they're getting everybody's power turned back on from Helene. As much as I like seeing the power trucks go by, I had to go inside because there was just too much noise out there on the porch. If you want to take a video or a picture uh, that you took on your phone, put it on the flash drive. I still got the flash drive connected here. You can see down there. So we could select one. This is a video I did on a hot water heater problem. What you need to do, this is the video. We need to tap our share uh, down here on the lower left and just go to save the files. Okay, it's automatically opening up my uh, flash drive that's on here. But you can just hit save. You can see it's saving it. Now I'll take a few seconds to a minute or so to save it on there. Should have just saved the photo. Well, there it is. Okay, let's go back. Now let's look at our files. Test, that's, see, there it is. That's the hot water heater video I just I'm not gonna there. go into how to take these screws off. There'll be a link at the end of this video. So that's how you can go the other way. Uh, put something on your flash drive to greatly increase your ability to store um, videos and photos and so forth if you're out somewhere and you don't have access to iCloud. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, and check out our other links. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you.